Well, Darren and I were just having a little friendly debate, as brothers do today, about weed control on our own farm. And what'd you tell me, Darren, about these corn prees? Well, okay, we're out in a field where we harvested corn this year, yep. and, and, and I was in a lot of these fields at harvest time seeing weeds. I don't like to see weeds. I like nope. to see perfectly clean fields because then I know we aren't going to have an issue with Roundup resistant weeds popping up on our farm. We aren't going to have weeds going to seed that are going to make the problem even worse next year. I want clean fields. Okay, and when we've so got here's... corn at four and a yep. half or five dollars, why can't we afford to use a full rate? Brian? Well, that's here, what I want okay, to do. so here's what we did. Rather than using a full rate of a pre emerge herbicide, we decided we were going to go with a half rate of a pre followed by Roundup Plus either status or callisto. And we use a low rate. We only use two and a half ounces of status or an ounce of callisto, maybe an ounce and a half in some cases. Brian's so that's tight. what we did. Here, here's the well, problem. Brian's I'm just saying, tight. it should have been he, good. You should dish out a little bit of that extra money. When we've got four and a half, five dollar corn, hey, so what if I throw another five dollars in a little higher rate of the okay. pre? In the spring, deal. when we were planting, we only had $3 fall That's corn. right. That's right. I know it. <laughs> Our marketing plan stunk this year. We, well, how did you know? You don't know we what, sold, if it was going to be We actually five. sold corn pretty good. We sold well over $4 okay. to Okay, well, this begin isn't a marketing talk. The point is, at the time <laughs> when we were planting, it was $3 corn, and we said, you know, that's real close to the cost of production. Are we sure that we really want to spend all that money? Because if we put the half rate of pre, we have something in with the Roundup Post, shouldn't yeah, that be good yeah. enough? Well, but our herbicide program is really not that expensive. You know, this isn't what's killing us on our farm as far as cost. The, the fertilizer is where it's really getting expensive, True. especially if, this dry okay, phosphorus. This but fall. the difference to go half rate versus full rate is about another seven, maybe eight dollars an acre. So is it worth seven dollars? Well, another at the here's time. Here's the question: Are we going to lose? Bushels? Are we going to lose two bushels of yield due to the weeds? And that's that's a good question because I'm not trying to dramatize things here. We don't have this horrible weed problem, but there are some little spots out in fields here and there. And do I think it's worth two bushels? To me, yes. Do I think even if it was worth only one bushel or a bushel and a half, so it doesn't necessarily pay for itself, is it worth spending a little bit more money to avoid Roundup resistant weeds? Absolutely, no question in my mind. Yeah, because it should come back in a lot of cases. Because I'm, I'm going to disagree with you, Darren, and say I don't think we lost two bushels because of our weed control. No way, we had good enough weed control. But the thing is, if you have a few weeds that go to seed, now I wouldn't disagree that maybe next year or the year after that, we could have enough weeds to cause two bushel loss across our whole farm and maybe even more than that. Well, so it, is, it was getting to the point where it's starting to be unacceptable, so we probably do need to up the rate. Part of the challenge was we get some good late season rains, and that allowed some weeds to germinate right. uh, further in the season after that short amount of pre-emerge herbicide ran out of gas. If we had a full amount of a pre, this is my argument that, hey, that's gonna give us that extra couple of weeks, and that probably would have taken us through to camp. Well, in summary, there are a lot of good pre-emerge herbicide choices for corn. We suggest you use one of them, and if you're starting to have some problems with that half rate, maybe you bump the rate a little bit, even to 60% or 70%, or you can do what Darren's suggesting and go full rate because, hey, you know, if I gain just a little bit of yield, it should pay for itself. Well, one of the weeds that those corn trees aren't going to do a whole lot on is our Weed of the Week, but we'll tell you what will coming up next. <laughs>